The Korean government has unveiled 10 graphic images that will be displayed on cigarette packages by the end of the year. They include images of smokers that have paid the price for lighting up over the years. Kim il Gyon reports. The Korean government on Thursday revealed 10 graphic images showing the side effects of smoking that must be displayed on cigarette packages starting the end of this year. The Ministry of Health and Welfare decided on 10 draft cigarette warning messages at a meeting today in central Seoul, which includes a diseased lung, a hole in a throat, and rotten teeth. We chose the pictures based on medical grounds and case studies. We tried to focus on the facts, whether the diseases depicted on the pictures are directly related to smoking. The ministry plans to submit the final list of selected images by June 23rd, and cigarette manufacturers are required to use the images on their products from December 23rd. Images must occupy more than 30 percent of the front and back of packaging, and cigarette companies have to change the pictures every 18 months. Such moves come as a revised health law came into effect last year, requiring tobacco companies to display stronger warning messages and pictures on their products. Over 80 countries around the world have adopted cigarette package warnings, with the number expected to hover above 100 by the end of 2016. Canada was the first to adopt the policy in 2001, using 16 images that cover almost 75 percent of the package. It said the likelihood of a person becoming a smoker decreased by 12.5 percent. Australia has participated since 2006, displaying warning images that cover up to 90 percent of the package. The move motivated 57 percent of smokers in Australia to try and quit, with 34 percent quitting successfully. Brazil also found 67 percent of its smokers quit after displaying warning images. With many countries adopting stricter measures to reduce smoking rates, experts question if the new law in Korea would be effective and sufficient enough to bring about change. Kim Mogyan, Arirang News.